Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about different responsibility of operating system. Uh, welcome here and in this class we are talking about uh, different responsibility of operating system uh, which include here the process management part, the memory management part, file system management, disk management and protection and security. So let's start uh, this by our first topic that is your process management. Okay, now if you talk about what exactly is a process, so when we talk about process, two terms comes into the picture. First is called a program, which is a, a text file or a file consists of commands. Okay, and uh, it's a passive entity. So it is not an something that can incapable of doing anything so it's a passive entity whereas uh, when we talk about a process a process is the definition wise process is a program is in execution a program is in execution okay and this is also unit of work in case of uh, unit of task let's say in case of cpu so regarding the process there are many different responsibilities are associated and within that the first one is uh, creation and destroy destruction or let's say destroy creating creation and destroy of process okay so that is the first part of the responsibility that we want to create a process or destroy the process and that is uh, one of the key tasks of your process management there can be many different process or many many different program program present in operating system okay selecting uh, selecting one of the process for the execution selecting one program for execution execution is another responsibility of operating system and that that is nothing but that is done by different schedulers are there okay so there are different schedulers and that that does the job Third responsibility is uh, allo allocating the resources. Okay, allocating resources required by the program. And that may include your CPU itself. That may include memory. That may include uh, if there is any file or any input output activity. Uh, fourth uh, uh, term that comes in process management uh, is your uh, is if the process uh, there are a few processes which uh, cooperates with each other okay cooperating process and these cooperating process need the term uh, that is called synchronization okay they need the term synchronization so uh, providing tools that will help in the synchronization okay different tools different tools and support for synchronization is another responsibilities of uh, process management the fifth one is uh, the process want to communicate with each other okay process wants to communicate with each other Okay, and the standard term here in this case is IPC, inter-process communication. So we must have provisions in case of process management for performing IPC. The last part of here in this case of process management is uh, if all processes 
waiting for a resource to be free. then no progress can be made and that leads situation a deadlock. So process management also look into that aspect uh, so that deadlock can be prevented and also it or it can be avoided up huh? or it can be avoided. Okay, so these are the different responsibilities uh, associated with the process management. So I hope I'm clear with all the terms. Uh, so as I told you, a programming execution unit of work within the system. Process is a passive entity. It's an active entity. Process needs resource to accomplish a task. CPU, memory, I.O. files. Uh, it also needs initialization of the data. Uh, this point is also important. Process termination requires reclaim of reusable resource. The different activities involved in the process management, as I told you that, creating and deleting both user and system process, suspending and resuming the process, providing mechanism for process synchronization, provide mechanism for process communication, provide mechanism for the deadlock, Handy. Okay. So these all are different activities and that we have already you know summarized here. Okay. So this is all responsibilities of the process management. From the gate point of view, uh, let me just add one more here is the scheduling. Okay, so scheduling algorithms. Let's add this topic over also here. From the gate point of view, this point synchronization and deadlock handling is one of the core part from where questions are asked in the gate examination. The next part here is the memory management and uh, when we talk about memory here, then we are talking about the physical memory. and that we formally known as a random access memory RAM. Now, uh, we know that for a, for a program to execute, it must be loaded into memory. So memory is used for dual purpose, two purpose, sorry. Uh, memory is used for storing your program and this is also used for storing data so data and program both are used to store in memory <clears throat> now so and also one more concern here in this case is memory is also also responsible uh, for your um, average access time and average response time. So every time when you're accessing the memory, it will take some time and if it, the, it will take a long time to access, then your response time will be very low. This time will be low. Okay. Um, in the memory management activities, okay, this activity involves, there are different activities are there and these activities are nothing but uh, uh, just keeping track of, keeping track of free memory and allocated memory, free and allocated memory. The second responsibility is uh, of this uh, activity is uh, uh, is swap in and swap out. Okay, now here right now it is uh, too early to comment here, but uh, we are we are keep a pool of jobs, pool of jobs in memory, 
so the jobs has to be you know uh, keep in the memory and then keep out from the memory the next here is the uh, allocation and deallocation of space So that is also uh, one of the major part, allocation and delocation of memory. Okay. So this entire memory uh, management is, uh, is this responsibility is is on uh, is on operating system. Okay. So here uh, this is the summary that to to execute the program, uh, all instruction must be in memory. That is your code. The data must be in, needed by the program must be in memory. Memory management determines that what is in the memory and when. Optimizing the CPU utilization and computer response to the user. Uh, memory management activities here, keeping the track of which part of the memory is uh, currently being used and currently used by whom. And deciding which process uh, and the data is moving to the and out of the memory. And that is precisely the swapping term. And allocation and deallocation of memory space needed as needed. That is the responsibility or that is the responsibility of memory management and the different activities involved over here. This is one of the major part. Okay, this is a major part and the things are looking here pretty simple, but it is one of the most complicated topic in gate examination. You must have a very good understanding of this particular topic. The next part is your file management and uh, uh, the files are organized into directories okay so there are some different directories are there and directories are nothing but a tree structured directories are there so in file management uh, there is also goes with access control uh, most of the system determines who can access what and the activities involved so here in case of file management is creating and deleting file and directories, uh, primitive to manipulate file and directories who can uh, manipulate uh, this uh, access control is one of the most important part in case of file management. Now this is important mapping the file into the secondary store. How this files, how files will be organized and disk okay and uh, if required backup files into one of the non volatile storage media okay and uh, this part is a uh, there is a few allocations are there like here there is a file location table uh, and i think if i am not wrong there is a nfs is also uh, there so there is a different file allocation methods are there so not a very important topic, but recent year there is a few questions from this man memory management part. Disk management and that is we are talking about precisely your hard disk. And again, this is one of the very important topic in the gate examination. So why we need a disk here and why it need to be managed properly. The statement summarize the entire thing. Okay? So the idea here in this case is the usually disk is used to store data that does not fit into the main memory now remember everything we cannot put in main memory everything cannot be in main memory right and later you'll understand that even even the entire program entire program entire application let's say microsoft word a word word is there so the entire word application will also not be part of not be in memory okay based on the requirement it will be again the concept is what it will be swap in and then swap out okay so we cannot keep the data for the longer period of the time but you have to hold it somewhere and for that what we had is a, a simple a secondary a disk storage so definitely a proper management of this is a central importance and uh, and uh, one thing that will come here in this case is right now too early to comment but uh, there is a concept of called that is page fault okay the page fault is the is the concept uh, which requires a lot of time to take the page uh, uh, read the page from the memory read the page from disk 
to memory and this really you know that take longer time than any memory access one so the entire speed of computer operation hinges on the disk subsystem and its algorithm okay even when you're how you are going to read read and all that is also one of the important or let's say bottleneck you can say uh, on the bottleneck in performance of a disk so here are a few activities are there free space management storage allocation and then one of the most important part here in this case is the disk scheduling algorithm the disk scheduling and some example is your uh, fcfs then we have a look say look circular look scan and then circular scan okay so these are the various different activities involved with your disk management the last part here in this case is the protection and security and here uh, uh, the very basic definition is the uh, protection is what uh, unauthorized access huh? so this is something related with your access control okay unauthorized access we want to protect it so any mechanism for controlling access of processes or the user to resource defined by the os okay so any mechanism for controlling access of processes or users to resource defined by the operating system so that is uh, either we are protecting our uh, files let's say or the processes also you cannot uh, in interrupt or interfere into another processes security is something the defense of system against internal and external attacks and definitely it is a uh, something worms viruses uh, theft identity theft theft of services okay so these are the various part that deals with your security system generally first distinguished among the user to determine who can do what okay so there is a there is a way of uh, uh, user uh, distinguishing between the user and that is done by usually the user ids or security ids okay that what is allowed what is not allowed even there is a group identifier allows set of user defined and control managed okay and it is associated with each file and process a privilege escalation if required a user to change effective id for more rights so if you can allow him then definitely it can have more rights and access different parts so that is something uh, responsibilities or activities uh, fine you can say activities also that uh, are related with your protection and security management so huge huge uh, you know aspects are there in terms of uh, uh, memory uh, in terms of uh, responsibilities of operating system okay so that's all for this discussion thank you